Most people, when they talk about the Avengers, think of John Steed and Emma Peel. Or it's about spies and crazy people trying to take over the world. We need to jump into the Wayback Machine for the full story. The original series had Dr. David Keel as the main character, searching for the person who killed his fiancée. Steed came along to help because he was looking for the same people in regards to a drug wing. Well, they worked together for a while, but two issues got in the way. Actor Ian Hendry wanted to be a film actor, and there was a writer's strike at the time in the UK. Now, they tried some other partners, but the person that really helped change the format and the direction of the show was anthropologist Dr. Kathy Gale. Kathy Gale knew judo, could get under Steed's skin, and was a true crime-fighting partner. And she wore leather outfits much better than David Keel. Time marched on, and Honor Blackman got the role of Pussy Galore in James Bond's Goldfinger. She left the series. According to the Avengers Forever website, Diana Rigg joined the series in 1965. It was also the year that the series transitioned from videotape to film and then from black and white to color in the U.S. Emma also transitioned from leather to a more mod icon of fashion. But the American financiers, <clears throat> ABC, wanted Emma's abilities toned down. There was something a lot more sinister on the British side of the fence. Diana Rigg was only getting 150 pounds an episode for a six-day work week, which in today's money exchange rate is $190.71. And I have to tell you, even damn Lassie was making more money than Diana Rigg at the time. So she quit. And now knowing what I know, justifiably so. So Diana is on her way out, and at the start of the 1968 season, begins the Tara King era. There will be no disrespect to Tara King. The original producers were fired. The replacement couldn't do the job. Then they got the original producers back, but they had no say in Linda Thorson being hired, and she was really new to acting. Plus, I defy anyone trying to live up to Kathy Gale and Emma Peel in an unsteady boat. Out went the humor and the sci-fi element, and they tried to get back to some of the feeling of the David Keel days. It didn't work out. Honestly, the behind-the-scenes activities are just as interesting as the show itself, but the show's not going anywhere, and wherever you stepped into it, whether it was the David Keel era, the Kathy Gale era, Emma, or Tara, I'm sure that you'll enjoy the series.